This is a tutorial to show you how you can use Dreamweaver to set up a web page, basically using all the code features in CSS that we've used before, but using Dreamweaver as an interface. So when you open up Dreamweaver, it looks like this. You can say File New to get a new file. And basically, you can pick the defaults. If yours has changed, you want to select these, the page type HTML, the layout none, and the doc type XHTML 1.0 transitional. So when you create the page, you should get your page to look like this in the split view so that you can see the code as well as the design interface at the same time. And at the bottom of the page, you have a properties panel that will allow you to make changes to things that you have selected on the page. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to insert a logo on my page. Um, before I do that, though, I will have had to have create, created the logo in Photoshop and have it in a folder ready to be accepted by this HTML page. And in that case, I probably want to go ahead and save it so that everything will be relative in the folder. I've got this DW folder already created that happens to have my um, name.gif image that's going to be my logo sitting in it. So I want to make sure I save that in the same place. And you'll also notice that I have a style sheet that's sitting here waiting and ready to go. So I'll save this. And I also want to change my title because we always make sure we have a title. And this title should be unique on subsequent pages after you make the first page, um, like Cindy Royal dash links, etc. So I'll come down here in the interface, and to insert an image, I just say insert image. And I can pick the image from the folder and insert it. And I also want to include the alt text here, so I'll call that Cindy's logo, and that's for accessibility purposes. It's nice that Dreamweaver automatically asks you to do that. So we've got the image in there, and then underneath the image, I want to put a list that's going to be my navigation. So I have home, links, contact. You would have as many as you want or as many as is necessary for the project that you're working on. And I can highlight them and put them in a list, just like I would if I were working in Word. And you can see in the code that Dreamweaver is applying all the proper code standards to the items that we're typing. One problem I see up here, though, is that it's got my image in a paragraph, and I really don't want that. So I'm going to click on the image and put none here. So I don't have the paragraph, so that no paragraph styles will apply to that. Then after the list, I'm going to click out of the list um, to make sure I don't have a bullet, and I'll just type the word welcome, and I'll highlight that, and I'll make it a heading. And the rest of my content would obviously flow below this. So we've basically got a page set up right now, and I want to save it as we go. And we know we have a style sheet created, and that style sheet has three different sections in it. It's got a logo, it's got nav, and it's got content. So we can just select the items that we want to put in each one and apply it. So in this one, I always want to be careful when I select the items in the design interface that all the code that I want to apply to that div is selected. So in this case it is. And I just say insert layout objects div tag. And our divs are actually IDs. They have the pound sign in front of them in the style sheet. So we want to pick the proper div. We want to give it the name that it um, associates it with the style sheet. So we'll call this logo. And when I select my list, notice in the code, it's really not getting all the code necessary to go into that div. And I don't want anything erroneously outside of the div. So I always look up at the code and select it from there. So I say insert layout objects div tag. And this is the nav. And these, again, correspond to the items that we have in the style sheet. And same thing here. If I select welcome, you'll notice that not all of the code is selected. Insert layout objects div tag. And we know that we have one more div named content for our page. Now I'm also noticing here that I should go ahead, and I can do this at any point, but add my links. Because if I know what the names of the pages are or what they're going to be, I can go ahead and apply them. The home page is always index.html. We don't use a target equal blank for our own internal links. And we have links.html that we'll name it when we actually use this page as a template for our subsequent pages. And the same thing with contact. So this page doesn't look very pretty right now. I'll go ahead and save it because we should save frequently as we go. Um, we want to apply the style sheet to it now. And that's very simple to do. The easiest way to do that is under class in your properties panel, pick attach style sheet. And you can find the style sheet. Actually, Dreamweaver is suggesting a style sheet that it already found for you in the folder, but you can browse for it and make sure that you pick the right one. Choose it and say okay. 
and you'll watch the style sheet apply directly into the Dreamweaver interface. And we can actually go to a browser. Let's, it's asking us to save our changes, so of course we want to do that before we open in the browser. And you can see exactly what it looks like in the browser and test it out and see that the links are applying the code, the um, CSS associated with it. And that's how you get started making a web page in Dreamweaver.